हेलो फ्रेंड्स कैसे हो आप सब माई सेल्फ चेतनगर आई एम मास्टर टीचर हेयर एट वेदांतु आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर आर एम ओ फ्लैश बैक सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी आर डिस्कसिंग प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ आर एम ओ राइट इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन नाइनटी फाइव बोथ ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन आर गुड क्वेश्चन वन इज फ्रॉम पॉमोटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन एंड द अदर वन इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ इन इक्वालिटीज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री एंड सम एल्जेब्रा राइट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सेशन आई एल जस्ट गिव यू वन इन्फॉर्मेशन That currently here at Vedantu, we are running pre-RMO, RMO, and INMO batches. Those people who have not appeared for pre-RMO yet, or unfortunately have not cleared pre-RMO exam uh, last year, they can simply visit our website olympia.vedantu.com. Here we have provided each and every information regarding this pre-RMO exam. And those who have already cleared either pre-RMO or RMO or even NTSC, uh, they should mail me their name, class, uh, contact number, their address. and uh, proof of uh, proof that you have already cleared one of these exams on this email id chetan.garg@vedantu.com those who have cleared pre rmo we will simply enroll you to rmo batch and those who have cleared rmo we will simply enroll you to inmo batch right and the most important thing is that uh, all these batches are completely free of cost you do not need to pay even a single rupee to enroll in these batches right so let's start our session Uh, this is the question number सिक्स of year 1995. It is a question from permutation and combination. And uh, if you have not solved this question yet, kindly uh, take your time, है ना Just pause the video, uh, solve this question, give a genuine 20 to 25 minutes to this question. And still, if you are not able to solve this question, you can uh, come again on this video and watch the solution. Right? So I'll proceed with the solution. Uh, the question says that uh, a one, a two, a three, up to a twenty one. It is a twenty one sided regular polygon, right? Inscribed in a circle with center O, right? So basically, this is a circle, right? And uh, this is a center and um, an uh, odd numbered polynomial that is polygon A one, A two, A three, right? And so on. This is being inscribed in this uh, quadrilateral, right? In this circle. So if I draw a diameter from A one. Let's say I draw this diameter, right? So A one is that uh, this point. So ten point will be on the right hand side, and ten point will be on the left hand side. So this point should be some what A eleven, and this should be A twelve, A thirteen, and so on, right? Till A twenty one, right? I hope this is clear, Hana. Right? So there are basically ten points uh, on the left hand side of this diameter, right? This point obviously will not lie on the polynomial, the diametrically opposite point of A one, because it is an odd degree uh, polygon. Right? Now the question says, how many triangles A I A J A K? That is, uh, how many such triangles whose vertices lie on this polygon uh, contain the point O as an interior point? Okay. So do remember one thing: in a circle, uh, circumcenter of an acute angled triangle always lies inside the circle and circumcenter of an obtuse angled triangle always lies outside the circle okay so we need to find uh, the number of triangles in which this point lies inside the triangle right so that means basically we need to find how many acute angled triangles are possible uh, whose vertices lie on the vertices of this regular polygon right so one way of uh, one way to solve this question is just subtract obtuse angled triangle from the total number of triangles right so since there are 21 points how many total such triangles are possible they will be simply 21 c3 right we can select any three points from uh, the given 21 points and they will uh, definitely form an uh, form a triangle right now let's subtract obtuse angled triangles obtuse triangles from this figure right Okay, so let's consider how many obtuse triangles from uh, even point will be there, right? So uh, there uh, there will be two possibilities. Uh, either a one will be that point where obtuse angle is there, or a one can be that point where uh, there is an acute angle, right? So let's consider those triangles in which a one does not have obtuse angled point, right? So if we take any two points. From these ten points, right? From A to two, A three. If we take any two points, um, number of ways will be ten C two, right? 
and uh, let's say we have taken a3 and let's say we have taken a10 now if we join these two points with a1 we will get an obtuse angled triangle and the uh, angle which has obtuse angle and the vertex which has obtuse angle that will not be the point a1 right so how many such triangles will be there 10 c2 right and similar number of triangles will lie on this part also right so how many such obtuse angle triangles are there in which a1 is a part but but uh, that is not the obtuse angle right that is obtuse angle is not at the vertex a1 so into 2 but here is one catch Achha. so th these are the number of triangles which are formed from the point a1 uh, which, uh, these are obtuse angle triangles which are formed from a1 and which do not have an obtuse angle at a1 right so from a2 uh, similar number of triangles will be there and so on since there are 21 points so the number of such obtuse triangles will be 10 c2 into 2 into 21 right now uh, we have counted these triangles each triangle twice right once let's let's take a look on this example a1 a10 a3 uh, this the same triangle will be uh, counted when we uh, counted it from the uh, starting from a1 right the same triangle will be counted when we counted it starting from a10 right since we are considering only those triangles in which uh, obtuse angle is not at the point which is being considered right so uh, a3 will not uh, this triangle will not be counted when uh, the number of triangles are considered for a3 right so each triangle is considered is counted only twice right so, so total number of distinct such triangles will be two right so it comes out to be 10 c2 is nothing but 45 so 45 into 21 right so that is nothing but uh, that comes out to be uh, 945 right so these are the number of distinct obtuse angled triangles right uh, so our our aim is to find the number of acute angle triangles obviously in those triangles only o will be the interior point so number of triangles will be number of such acute angle triangles will be 21 c3 minus simply 945 right and 21 c3 is nothing but uh, let's calculate 21 c3 it is 21 20 19 upon 3 into 2 into 6 uh, 1 right so this is 7 uh, 10 17 into 7 into 19 is 133 so this is nothing but 1330 minus 945 and this comes out to be um how much it will come out to be 385 right so 385 will be your answer right 385 will be such acute angle triangles or uh, 385 uh, will be such triangles in which o is their interior point right once again i'll just recap the solution uh, humne kya kiya uh, humne pehle total number of triangles nikala right usme se humne total number of obtuse angle triangles minus kar diye so the remaining will be obviously acute angle triangles in this particular question there will be no right angle triangle because uh, uh, since this is an odd sided polygon to so joining any two points we will not form uh, the, joining any of these two points uh, cannot form a diameter of the circle right so one doubt may be there uh, on some uh, some students mind that we have not considered those triangles in which a1 is the obtuse angle is at a1 these triangles are considered when we have considered a3 as a point or this point let's say a20 as a point right so all these uh, triangles have been considered in the in this 945 obtuse angle triangles right so the final answer will be 385 to this question all right let's proceed to the next question this is a good question this uh, this is a question of somewhat of algebra uh, some whole square completion and some trigonometric formulas right so in this question again we need to prove some inequality right x square into sin x plus x cos x plus x square plus half right so let's start solving this question right first of all again let's uh, collect the coefficient of x square which is sin x plus 1 right and plus it will be x cos x plus half we need to prove that this thing is greater than 0 again this is not a quadratic because here uh, x is a variable and sin x and cos x are also there right uh, let's uh, let's substitute a formula of sin x which is in terms of tan x which is sin x is nothing but twice of tan of x by 2 upon 1 plus tan square x by 2 right same formula for cos x similar formula is 1 minus tan square x by 2 right all upon 1 plus tan square x by 2 
ठीक है लेट सब्सिट्यूट दिस फॉर्मूलाज तो वट वी विल गेट वन प्लस दिस इज नथिंग बट टू टेन ऑफ एक्स बाई टू राइट अपॉन वन प्लस टेन स्क्वेयर एक्स बाई टू प्लस एक्स टाइम्स इट विल बी वन माइनस टेन स्क्वेयर एक्स बाई टू होल अपॉन वन प्लस टेन स्क्वेयर एक्स बाई टू राइट प्लस हाफ वी नीड टू प्रूव दैट दिस थिंग इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो ऑल राइट लेट्स क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई वन प्लस टेन स्क्वेयर एक्स बाई टू एंड ट्वाइस राइट वट वी विल गेट वी विल गेट ट्वाइस ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेयर This will become one plus ten square x by two plus two ten x by two. So it will it is nothing but one plus ten x by two whole squared plus uh, okay twice of this which is two x into this one minus ten square x by two. We can write it as one minus ten x by two into one plus ten x by two, right? And plus plus this thing um, plus one plus ten square x by two. We need to prove that this thing is greater than zero, right? So here there is a feel that uh, some whole square portion can be completed, right? But uh, it is twice written here. So let's multiply the whole equation by two. Uh, we will get four times this, four times this, and two times this. This and in fact zero into two is zero, right? So if we are able to prove that this is greater than zero, then we are done, right? Here, as you can see, some whole square completion can be done. Uh, this part is nothing but this is a whole square of how much 2x uh, into 1 plus 10x by 2 so twice of 2x into 1 plus 10x by 2 is there but we need 1 minus 10x by 2 whole square right so let's add uh, 1 minus 10x by 2 whole square in it and let's subtract 1 minus 10x by 2 whole square to remain the left hand side as same now if we take these three parts right this thing this thing and this thing so what we will obtain we will obtain uh, this is nothing but 2x into 1 plus 10x by 2 right plus this thing right uh, 1 minus 10x by 2 whole square i hope this is clear if this is a this is b then that will be a square and this is b square plus twice of a into b right so what we are left with this minus this and as you can say uh, as you can see that this is nothing but 2 plus 2 10 square x by 2 minus 1 minus 10 square x by 2 so this that will be 1 plus 10 square x by 2 plus 2 tan x by 2 which is again a whole square right so we can write now the whole question as uh, 2x into 1 How much that was? One plus ten x by two. Okay, the two x into one plus ten x by two plus one minus ten x by two whole squared, right? That was there, Hana. Right? And plus plus what we will get? One plus ten x by two whole square. We need to prove that this thing is greater than zero. Strict strictly greater than zero. We do not. Uh, we need not to prove that that is actually equal to zero. and that is true in fact uh, square of anything plus square of some another thing that is always greater than or equal to zero but here we also need to prove that this thing cannot be equal to zero okay if this thing is equal to zero then both of these whole squares should be zero right and if obviously 1 plus 10x by 2 whole square is zero that is 10x by 2 should be equal to minus 1 then that portion will not be zero this will be zero but that will be 2 so that will be 4 right so both of both of these things cannot be simultaneously zero so we can say that there will be a strict inequality it cannot be equal to zero so that will imply that this thing is strictly greater than zero and this is what we need to prove in this question right so that was a little bit of calculation and i am that involves a little calculation over here right so these are the two questions from year 1995 basically these were the last two questions of year 1995 so in the next uh, session we will be discussing the next few questions of year 1996 right and again before ending the session uh, i'll 
uh, again announce one uh, thing that I have already announced at the start of the session that uh, if you have uh, either cleared pre-RMO or RMO exam then you should mail me your details on this uh, you should mail me your name, class, contact number, address and proof on this email ID right those who have cleared pre-RMO we will simply enroll you to RMO batch and those who have cleared RMO we will simply enroll you to INMO batch right so we will see you in the next session Till then, take a good care of yourself. Thank you. Bye-bye.